Hello dear friends, Ewell Humphreys here from Bible Reflections, about a five or ten minute message on, from the Word of God to you. I want to speak to you briefly on the fact that we can overcome temptations. How to overcome temptations. We're all tempted. As Christians we're tempted to do the wrong thing. We're still living in a world of darkness, an evil world, a world where it is run largely by evil spirits and by Satan himself. And we need to find and follow the way of the Lord and overcome temptations, for they will come. And uh, we know that Satan is a great tempter. He will tempt us to do the wrong thing. It all started in the Garden of Eden when he tempted our first parents, Adam and Eve. And they succumbed to his temptations. And so it was with the Word of God that teaches us today that we'll still be tempted by the tempter and by evil spirits. And so there are other ways in which we're tempted by our old dark world and by our self that's within us. That, that nature of self that still wants its way. And that's the reason Jesus said even though you're saved, you need to deny yourself daily in order to follow Christ and let the Spirit of God rule in your heart. And that is so important. The Bible says over in Hebrews in the third chapter, Wherefore, as the Holy Spirit has said, harden not your heart. As they, did, as they did in the wilderness in the day of temptation in the wilderness. Harden not your heart as the Israelites did when they were out there in the wilderness and they turned away from, from the Lord. So be careful that you do not yield to temptations to turn away from God and depend upon yourself, to turn away from God and depend upon the world or the flesh or somebody else. Oh, the Lord wants you to depend on Him. He wants you to look to Him, dear friend, and find and follow the way of the Lord. Don't worry about trying to please people. You're not going to please everybody. You're not even going to please people, some of them that are supposed to be Christians. But you can please God by seeking His Word and walking humbly with Him. The Bible says over in the book of James in the first chapter, verse 10, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised. You will overcome temptation. You will overcome it. But let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither can uh, uh, may be tempted in any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. And so we see that God doesn't tempt you. God tests us sometimes. But there is a great deal of difference between his testing and the temptation of the world. And so we need to see this and realize the beauty of overcoming. Again, we find that Jesus was tempted. Over in the book of Luke in the fourth chapter, it said, Jesus, being full of the Holy Spirit, uh, returned from Jordan, and being tempted, he went into the wilderness, and being led by the Spirit. And sometimes the Holy Spirit will lead us into the wilderness, into times of trial and trouble. But we must be willing to follow wherever he leads. Praise God, for it will be the best way for us to go at that time. The Bible says, and then, and then after 40 days, uh, he, he was tempted of the devil. And in those days, he did eat nothing, and when he was very hungry, and the devil said to him, If you be the Son of God, command this stone to be made bread. So Jesus had fasted, and he was very hungry. He was going through this test. God put him in the wilderness to be tested by Satan. He put Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden to be tested. And they failed the test. Jesus was put into the, into the wilderness to be tested by Satan. But praise God, he passed the test for you and me. For Jesus said to him, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And every time he was tempted, he would say, It is written. The answer was given. The devil said, if you fall down, worship me, I'll give you everything in this world. It'll be yours. Jesus said, it is written, you shall worship the Lord God, and him only shall you serve. And so Satan had to flee. Over in the book of Luke, in the 22nd chapter, we read the fact that, before we do that, let's read one more verse over in Hebrews, in the 2nd chapter, verse 18. For in that he himself has, has suffered, Jesus being tempted is able to suffer, help those that are tempted. So you see, Jesus was tempted all through this life that he was living. He was tempted. His human part of his body was tempted in his life. But he never succumbed to temptation. He overcame. 
and we overcome through him not in us but in him you find the way you know the answer you find the peace and joy is yours because he loves you and he's with you he's going to see you through he forgives you where you fail and fall he says come on keep walking keep following we're going to start again every day is a new day every hour so we need to work in that Jesus is praying for you Luke 22 and verse 32 is Jesus uh, Jesus said Simon Peter Simon behold Satan has desired to have you to sift you like wheat but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when you are converted strengthen the brother Jesus said to Simon Peter Simon Satan is, is after you. He really wants you. He wants to sift you like we. He wants to tear you apart. But I prayed for you that your faith fail not. You see, we overcome temptations by faith in the Lord Jesus. By faith in Him who loved us. By faith in Him who is our strength, our portion, and our hope. And He's our power forever. I want you to know that and live for Him. I want you to know that and find your way in Christ. And you will overcome temptations. When you're tempted, think of the Word of God. When you're tempted, pray, Lord, help me. Is this of you? If it's not, and I don't believe it is, then, Lord, forgive me. Help me overcome it. And God will help you. He's praying for you. He's directing now your way. And He's going to help you overcome and find the answer. Oh, praise the Lord. I want you to know that. I want you to know He is a friend. He is a wonderful friend. He is your Lord. I found a friend. Oh, praise God, such a friend. His love has drawn me to him. Oh, I, oh, I, was so unworthy. Christ in love has drawn me to him. Oh, I found a friend like Jesus, none like him. God bless you. May you know today that his love is real for you. I want you to pray a prayer with me and ask the Lord to help you to overcome. I want you to understand that we're tempted to do a lot of things. Sometimes we're tempted to criticize other people. We're tempted to criticize other Christians sometimes when they make mistakes. But instead of criticizing, we need to pray for them. We need to pray for them. Jesus said, I have come not to condemn you, but to save you. Now we're not here, dear friends, to condemn others when, when they make mistakes. We're here to pray for them that God would forgive them as he's forgiven us. God bless you. God, help you pray this prayer with me, asking God to forgive you and come in your heart. And the Lord will bless. Say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he rose again. I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart. Help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Amen. Find your good church and go to it. And law and worship is the Lord and serve Him and His people. May the Lord bless you. And may you learn and know that the Lord God will help you overcome temptations and to live for Him. Amen and Amen.